Hi everyone, every gamer has ever thought about which is better, single or multiplayer. Today we'll talk about the pros and cons of both game types and try to answer the question, what is better, single player or multiplayer? While making this video, I realized that I was faced with a difficult task to answer the fundamental question of the gaming industry. Similar in scale to the console or PC, iPhone or Android, DC or Marvel, brass or glutes. Wait, where is this from? Okay, everyone has their own taste. Some people like to play together with friends or strangers, some are more satisfied with a quiet and calm game alone. According to Wikipedia, the earliest video games Tennis for Two, Space War and Pong were games for two players, but single player games became popular only after that. These include Speed Race and Space Invaders. Therefore, let's start with an analysis of the advantages of multiplayer games first. But before that, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Alright, let's start with communication. Online games have always been in demand in the community due to their socialization feature. Everyone can find a person with whom they can play together, share their emotions from the game, present together during defeats and rejoice during victories. In multiplayer games, it is possible to create and lead large groups of people with the same interests, which gives a huge boost to developing leadership skills. There is nothing more rewarding than playing online multiplayer games. Once your skills are mastered, you'll feel pretty good. And and it's cool when you can show off your skills to other players. Just knowing that your skills are better than most of the other players can help boost your self-esteem. But first, you'll need to master your skills of course. Online games are constantly evolving and don't stand still. Of course, everything depends on the developers of the game. But most often, updates are released regularly, delighting players with new quests, features, locations and etc. Now it's time to figure out the cons of multiplayer games. And let's start with the fact that most multiplayers are not durable. Let me explain this. I never buy games on release, because as you know, all new games today come out rough, have billion bugs, crashes and poor optimization. Yes, this is the current reality, and I think I'll make a separate video on this topic. And for me, I see no point in paying 60 bucks for such product. I prefer to buy the game a year after, when it will get its final form, get all DLCs and fixes. And I am ready to wait so long to get the best version of the game. But you can't do that with multiplayer games. because in a year multiplayer will either be dead or be filled with only the most hardcore players who've been playing the game non-stop. Entering the chat of multiplayer games is like watching the long lost family show. I am your father. No! Seriously, who likes to listen to a 12-year-old kid about hanging out with your mother? You might say, just mute the chat. But after all, this is a key element of communication with your team. And that makes multiplayer different from a single player. By muting the chat, you turn multiplayer into single player with buggy NPCs. So in this case, you can't expect any enjoyable experience from the game. And I'd rather play games by myself where I always have a good time than have to deal with a gang of jerks. I strongly disapprove of the monetization model that that many multiplayer games use. Let me explain it. There is nothing bad about players buying skins and cosmetics for their characters just to make them look different, but many multiplayer games have pay to win elements, and players who are willing to spend money have an advantage over those who don't. Buying loot boxes and legendary items, premium accounts, experience and damage boosters, all of this spoils the gaming experience. And personally, I don't understand it at all. Okay, we're done with multiplayer games, now let's move on to single player and we'll start with the plot. The unique feature of single player games is the presence of strong plot in them. Mostly. Linear, non-linear, exciting or just the plot plays a major role, the motivation to the player to go through it to the end. Good games are like movies or books, after which you want to immerse yourself in the universe, discover the lore, watch reviews on YouTube and so on. The plot of many of them makes you think, makes up your mind and maybe even teaches something new. Single player games are able to take you to a completely different world, to other people and other you. Another feature or features of single player are characters and non-depersonalized protagonists. Well, at least in most single players. A hero who can be sympathized with. A hero that feels real, as if living a completely different life. While multiplayer games rely on H2H, -H, aka human to human interaction, a single player game must create this artificially. As a result, single player games require a deeper description of the NPCs in order to create bonds between the player and characters and develop a deeper antipathy towards the game's antagonist. Well, usually. 
A single playthrough is an opportunity to escape from reality. They are relevant just when you want to move away from everyday life and comprehend another world. At the same time, you can pause the game, watch the TikTok that your girlfriend sent you or have a pee whenever you want. Now, let's move on to the disadvantages of single players. Modern games are constantly chasing the coolest graphic, ray tracing and huge scale. I don't mean that this inspiration is bad. What I'm trying to say is that the games themselves are not cheap. In addition, in addition, you have to regularly spend money on updates for your PC, CPUs, SSDs, graphic cards, especially graphic cards cost pretty much money. As a result, the new game will cost you a price of new PC, and you still have to eat, pay bills, take your girl or boyfriend on a date, travel, save money and after all, live a happy life. Nowadays, there is a trend in the number of hours of gameplay, and many game studios compete for the title of the game with the longest playthrough time. Of course, there are games in which it looks acceptable and organic. They are elaborate, have many interesting and various side tasks. But unfortunately, there are very few of them. I don't see the point in stretching out boring games like Odyssey, for example. Doing dull and repetitive tasks over and over again is not fun. This is madness! We are Ubisoft. Everyone has had moments when you play a game and some exciting or unexpected moment happens and you want to pause the game and discuss it with someone. We are human beings and we are social. We are always willing to share experiences, emotions and impressions with someone. And it's good when you have friends who can share these moments with you. But most people play single player games as it's not surprising alone. So, single or multiplayer? It all comes down to your personal preference. There is no right or wrong answer. If team wins, losses and experience are important to you, then multiplayer is your choice. If you are looking for a compelling storyline, well-developed characters, world and individual achievements, then the single player game is for you. Personally, I prefer to play single player games, as you can see from the videos on this channel. If you like the video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon to be notified of new videos. It was a pinch. See ya.